I think the only way to, to solve environmental problems is to understand the consumer's situation and make it more easy to act environmentally friendly. Karin M. Ekström is a professor in marketing at the University of Burroughs in Sweden. She specializes in consumer behavior research. I really didn't dream of becoming a researcher when I was very, very young. <laughs> it was first after studying in England and uh, later in the United States that I, I really thought, wow, this is interesting. Uh, so I found an area of research that I find very interesting, consumer research. But I think the main reason why I, I find it very interesting is because it's, it's curiosity. You learn a lot of things all the time and it's, it's very, very interesting. Before coming to the University of Burroughs, Professor Ekström worked at the University of Gothenburg, where she started an interdisciplinary research center focusing on consumption. According to Professor Ekström, interdisciplinary research is vital to understanding consumption and consumer behavior. Sociology, anthropology, psychology, business, marketing, uh, technology, etc., uh, philosophy, etc. So, so there are many, many different disciplines that can contribute to the understanding of consumption. And I think that's the same for many other uh, areas of study as well. Uh, it's so complex that you need different perspectives, you need different theories, and you need different methods in order to understand things. In her research, Professor Ekström focuses on the consumer's perspective. She believes it is important to try to find solutions to societal problems related to sustainability and consumption. She is currently working on a project that deals with reuse and recycling of clothes. I think it's important to have a consumer orientation. In, in other words, to understand consumption and the consumers from a consumer perspective. So you really have to, to place yourself in the consumer's situation and try to understand how the consumer think and, and act and why the consumer think and act in that way. Today consumption is very much a large part of our identity in society. We show through our consumption who we are or who we want to be. Increased consumption is a problem for society today. But how does the future look for this research area? In order to, to understand consumption and, and study consumption, you also have to have a critical perspective of what consumption actually means. So I think a critical perspective is important. And that's what I also hope for the future. If I, if I look at the society overall, I think um, it's important to learn to be a critical consumer. Thank you.